How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> I'll admit, I was not planning on originally on doing back-to-back -back recordings, but um, I, I was so excited to get through the to the end of this game because of how much I'm enjoying it that instead of doing um, Nino Kuni this week, I figured, you know what, we're gonna fill in that blank with this game instead because why not? So, with that being said, let's exit this. Die. Uh, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Live? How about leave? Break or strengthen? We're home. It's finally over. Or is it? The truth lies in the reflection of my name. What does that even mean? I'm pretty sure that's Sombria talking. Sombi, we're finally home! Yes, we did. Oh, we did it. That's what she said. It's getting finally seen, huh? Now we can stop this cursed loop and bring you back to normal. Right? I guess so. Are you feeling alright, Lucia? I feel great. Just like pickles. Why? Aren't you feeling good too? Uh, oh, I am. But you seem different. You seem... normal? Um... What are you talking about? I've always been normal. Where is this going? You seem less intelligent than... Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Are you calling me dumb? N no, no, I didn't mean it like that. Well, you're ugly and stupid. Oh my god. And you look like a freak. Maybe I am just a freak after all. Zombie? That's right. Run! Lucia! Great. Great. Given she's going through a lot of depression, I can only imagine what's going to happen now. <sighs> okay, I'm going to save. Alright. What's this? Another bobby pin? How many does Sami need to keep those balls of hair up? Why? Is this question really necessary? Where'd she go? Big crybaby. That's horrible! Not in here! But the main antagonist is, if my speculation is correct. Oh, I thought I'd drop by. Just to see if you two made it back alright. Yeah, we did. What do you want? Took a while, but we made it. So, where's your sister? Sami? <laughs> Probably crying in her... What is wrong with you, Luzia? So it's a right. Now that is not very sisterly, is it? I don't care. This is horrible! That's right. She should. It's not like she thanked me for helping her get... You know what? I think that the noodle lady actually is Luzia, like we like we were thinking in the last episode. Because they're talking way too similarly in the moment. Like, in the moment where Luzia is very childish, so is the noodle lady. But every time she's... I don't care what I'm missing in dialogue, by the way. I'm paying attention. What door just unlocked? Anyway, yeah, I'm almost convinced that, yes, you're the main antagonist, but I also am convinced that you're Luzia. But how? I can hear something. It sounds like someone calling my name. Should I call back? It's the basement door. It's locked. But the door looks like it's got gonna fall off anyway. Screws on the hinges are loose. Oh, 
Okay then. <laughs> the toaster. Remember when Zombie caught her hand? Wow. It's not even funny anymore. Come on, Luzia! Not another sink. What? No, not yet. I'm still mad at her. Come back in a little while. I'll let her stay in there until she wants to be nice to me. Besides, it's locked in and awfully quiet. Oh no, don't tell me she... If I go in that room later and she's dead, Luzia, I am going to be mad at you, if that's the case. There's nothing in here but my uncle's lucky screwdriver. Could be useful. Say your prayer, screws. <sighs> Whatever. I guess let's go and do the screws. Oops. Oh, there we go. What is that? Is someone there? H hello Assuming that's female. L Lucia? Is that really you? What are you? It's me. Please remember. It's me. M Mom? Y yes, my sweetheart. Wait a minute. Mom! What happened to you? This is going to sound strange to you. But your sister did this. Of course she did. Of, of freaking course she did! She created this place. This is all Zombie's fault? Yes. And no. See, your sister is a very special girl. So, I'm not special? You girls are very special to me. I mean, Zombie's a witch. Zombie's the red witch? Wait, what? Y yes. H how do you know that? Well, this time I thought I was. Yeah! Y you've been speaking to the noodle lady, haven't you? Yes. How do you know that? It's the loop. Everything that you've seen, heard, and felt. They're all just distractions. What do you mean? It, it's Sombra's emotions. Her imagination. She created all of it. So she created the Noodle Lady. Wait, so the Noodle Lady's not Luzia? Because she's... depressed. Right? Wow. Sombra's a... She suffers through... Damn. She won't listen to me. I, I tried to break the loop m myself, but I failed. Th that's why I'm here. But you still have a chance, Luzia. But why me? I haven't been myself lately. Because you two are sisters, Luzia. For some reason, you both can understand each other. I mean, it makes sense. I can't explain it. You don't have to. Anyone who knows anything about genetics when it comes to sisters knows that sisterly bonds are excruciatingly mind-boggling strong. But Luzia, that's not a bad thing either. It's probably a poor choice of words. You have to kill- What? No! But I can't. It's the only way. Luzia, please. I'd rather have it any other way. There has to be another way. You can't kill my sister. You have to, Lucia. Please, we'll bring everything to peace. Even your sister. How do I know you're not lying to me? You were never there when we needed you. Lucia, I did everything I could for you girls. 
I even risked my own life to save Sabria. I sacrificed myself to make sure you both have a life. Please, you have to trust me. But how would I kill her? Not to a clue under Sabi's door. Not sure if you got it earlier. Wait, the blood picture? How is that a clue? This is for Sabi. I know. I can't make up your mind, for you. That's for you to decide, and only you. Just promise me something, Lucia. Yes, mommy. Never forget that I love you both so very, very much. I won't. I promise. Mom. Mom. Kidding. <sighs> what is this? Wait, can I pick this up? No? Oh, I can't. It's Mom's gardening shovel. Oh. <laughs> Let's use the shovel on her. See what happens. Where the hell is the noodle lady? Okay, what's on here? There's a picture on it. Yeah, it was. Wait a minute. There is a difference in this outside of Well, found the noodle lady. I do not trust you. Feeling sick, my darling. You took your time in there. Y yes, I, I was sick. Poor darling. Once you're done up there, I will make you a bowl of noodles. Uh, okay. Is there something wrong, Luzia? You seem shaken. Uh, who, me? I'm fine. Okay. If you say so, I'll wait here until your turn. I just want to say thanks for helping me understand Sabria. Oh, you're very welcome, my dear. I know what I have to do. Kill Sab- No! No, 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 no. <sighs> then again, I'm assuming whatever's whatever I have to dig for here, I'm going to have to use it. What is it? It's the butcher's not. I have to kill zombie, don't I? That is just messed up, man. There's some writing on the handle. Good luck, kid. Butcher. <laughs> you trust me with knives now. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee <laughs> hee. You know what? I'm saving, just in case this isn't right. I used a guide up until this point, but I don't know what to do here. Okay, the knife can be used in two different ways. Either on zombie or on the old lady. The old lady, I still think, is the main antagonist. I still think she is, so it would be logical to kill her over zombie. So I'm assuming if I try to kill zombie, I'm going to get the bad end. Assuming there is a bad end. Let's see if I'm right. Hey, zombie. I just wanted to check on you. Well, I mean, the loop is broken. Wait, is she crying? That blue, is that tears? I mean, the loop is broken, but... That's not worth it! I knew it. I knew it. That was
was not the good end. I just saw the bad end thing. I'm like, I knew it. I knew it. Thank you for playing my big sister. Oh, also, I just took the headphones off because I was getting some water. All right, fine. That's the bad end. Well, let's get the good one then. Oh, wait, what? Is this how your story ends? I'm sure you can find a better ending than this one. I hope so! Alright, you know what, Noodle Lady? Screw you, you're dying. You're the antagonist, I am getting rid of you. Am I right? Can I ask you something? Who? Me? Yes, you. You can ask me anything, my dear. Okay. Truth or dare? What? This isn't the time to be playing game. Truth or dare? Fine. Truth. Who are you? I told you before. I am your Kona Kagam. You're lying again. Who's he at? You shouldn't be putting your nose into... You seem so eager to play this game with me before. So play with me now. Who are you? I'm... Lucia, Sombria's conscience. I am an older envision of you. But a far better one. Hey! Truth or dare? Wait, don't I get a turn? Haven't you had enough turns at this game? Truth or dare? Truth. Why am I so different now? <sighs> Haven't you noticed anything lately? Now that your mother is gone, your personality will change back to its stupid old self. Hey! The pathetic mother's spirit was infused with you. Until she died. Ha! She failed to break the loop. Now you will follow in her footsteps. Truth or dare? Enough of this pathetic game! Your time is up, Luzia. Truth or dare? Dare! What are you gonna do about that? I d dare. I dare you. What? What do you dare me to do? I dare you to listen to my little secret. A secret? <laughs> Is that all? Okay, Lucia. What's your secret? Thank you. Well, she did! For telling me the truth. Finally. So, I'm assuming I just killed the main antagonist. Finally! You deserve to die, bitch! Especially after what you just claimed. The fact that she talked the way she did about Lucia's mother. Yeah. Noodle Lady's definitely the main antagonist of the game. Now that she's dead, or Lucia, I guess, I was right. Well, then again, the game kind of hinted at it, so I'm not too surprised I was right. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Hey, Sami. I just wanted to check on you. Okay, thank God. Thank God she's alive. Sami, she, she's gone. She told you, didn't she? She told you everything. She did. So what are you gonna do now? I have to do what is right. Then do it. Okay. Huh? Where are you going? I'm going to bed. It's late. What do you mean it's late? Well, why won't you kill? Because I don't have to. I may be 12, but I can tell when a story is done. 
I'll see you in the morning. But how? She spared her life. Honestly, duh. I wanted to eat some cereal. I can see that. So, about last night. You mean this morning? Yes, I mean this morning. Yeah? How did you know? How did I know what? How did you know how to break the loop? Oh, that. See, what I did was, <laughs> oh jeez. And then, oh, and I also, come on, Luzia. And voila, well, someone's hungry. <laughs> Can you not talk with your mouth full? It's disgusting. There, your majesty. Thank you. Now, before you say anything, I want to say, I love you, big sis. And I love you too, you little knucklehead. If you tell anyone I said that, I'll really kill you. Yeah, sure. Hey, listen. Do you want to go grab some waffles or something at Daisy's? I haven't had waffles in ages. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're back to childish humor. Come on, go get ready. I'm already ready. The last page. The Book of Sorrow. The Book of Sorrow? We did it. It's finally over. Thank you, Luzia. Luzia broke the loop without killing her sister. It's been a while since we've been here. Where are my damned waffles? Hey, take it easy, tiger. I need waffles. Sorry, sis, but I need something other than noodles. Wow. I didn't think you'd ever get sick of food. Hey, now. I said noodles, not food. You leave food alone. <laughs> okay. I see you're back to your normal self again. Yeah. Yeah. I know, Lucia. I'm sorry about Mom. It's okay. You couldn't help it. I know she's still here. Nagging us to brush our teeth and stuff. <laughs> Maybe you do need to brush your teeth. You mean this whole time you were off the hook? I would have made you brush your teeth with the toilet brush. It's good to have you back, Lucia. You too, big sis. You know... Hmm? You still haven't told me how you figured all this out. I know. It's our little secret. Our secret? But you haven't told me. No, not you. The person behind the screen... Okay, Luzia. Whatever you say. Oh, don't play dumb with me, Sombria. You know about me. Hey, after breakfast. Wait, what is it? My little sister. Or my little secret. Okay. Oh, I want to show you something. I think that's what she said. Those things are dang. Uh, shouldn't be cr I'm missing the dialogue. Come on, sh stop it. Luzia, you need to stop watching so much TV. Whatever they said. So, what do you think? Think of what? This place. It's okay, I guess. Okay. This is my secret I was telling you about. Oh! Eh, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> okay! <sighs> I used to come here every day after school. It's relaxing. Lucky this place has a swing. Otherwise, it would be boring. <sighs> Nothing ever pleases you, does it? Yeah, 
some things. Like what? Like stuff? I don't know. Is it weird talking to me like this? Well, yeah, a little. You, you've never been this happy before. Yeah, that is weird. So, what's gonna happen now? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to look after you. Seeing how... I know. It'll be okay. Now that I have my big sis looking after me. I can stay up as late as... Okay, no. Oh, no, you ain't. If you disobey me, you're living with Auntie Claire. What? No! Her house is way too creepy. Besides, she'll make me sleep with Baby Mark. Keep me up all night. Hey, Lucia. Calm down. I'm just kidding. Hey, zombie. If you're the witch... Where's your pointy hat and... <laughs> Damn it. Lucia, I think this would be the best time to tell you. You come from a very strange family. Mom once told me that you and I share our great ancestors' gifts. A gift? Like superpowers? <laughs> no, more like unnatural abilities. Well, that's what Mom called it. Mom made me see that therapist every week. Because you were depressed? Yeah. She wanted me to control my emotions. But when I couldn't control them anymore, I created the loop. Please don't make another one. I, I can't stand the sight of noodles anymore. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I will, Lizia. I'm free to do what I want now. Except smoking. You promised. I mean, she did, but didn't. I said maybe, Lucia. Mm, okay. Hey, zombie. Hmm? What's my gift? I, I don't know, Lucia. Mom said you did have one. She just said you have a great imagination. It's not really a gift. Everyone has an imagination, zombie. I guess you just have one of a kind. I guess that's fair. I liked that ending. Those two are living, living. I mean, it's just a sis, two sisters living together, but it's a very peaceful ending. That's a very interesting story. I, I actually really like the story of uh, my big sister. I mean, with everything going on in this, I mean, it's easy for me to interpret what's going on. I, I did see online that there were a lot of like speculations on what the heck is going on, but I don't know. For me, it wasn't that hard to tell. I love the, ass, the idea of like taking psychological depression and adding magic to it, like creating some kind of endless loop or curse based off of un uncontrollable depression. I love the fact that they implemented that into this horror game. I love that so much. It, it, it creates for a really good story too. The fact that in her mind, an older version of Luzia is just as naggy to the point where she can be a villain. I love that even more. This is probably, story-wise, one, I wouldn't say whether or not it's my favorite, but it's definitely one of my favorite stories when it comes to that. Thank you for playing my big sister. You're welcome. That was a lot of fun. I love this game. I guess that was the true ending of the game. Okay. That is so... Now, I know there's a prequel to this with the real Ashina and her real sister. But... 
And apparently it's supposed to be like a prequel to this game. I don't know when I'll play it, if I play it, but I don't know. I'll probably give it a try at some point. I think it's on consoles as well, which is like what this one was on. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. And this series here. I know basically we were replacing uh, Nino Kuni today, but I really wanted to see the ending of this, so figured might as well. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of My Big Sister and this finale of it. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a horror game you'd like to see on here? Horror RPG, Jared RPG, horror, whatever, whatever it might be. Um, let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out another game I've done that's like this one, click the link in the bottom right corner, try and take it to that destination. Missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across my channel and try and take it there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. We'll see you guys later. Bye.